Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking and for watching. My name is Royalty, and this is Royalty Cosmos Band. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. Like, I just literally woke up. Yeah, I just woke up. This is my real face. <laughs> We no longer have all those princess dress and everything, so we're back to real world. <laughs> okay guys, so I know you're expecting to see part 6 in the title of the continuation of the Uganda woman in the Philippines or in Mr. Rafi's show. But uh, before we go into the part 6, because I already recorded myself watching the part 6, but I'm like, okay, before we watch the part 6, can we see how Andre, that is Andrea and Derek, prepared for Evelyn while she came to Derek's house for the dinner. So let's go behind the scene and see what happens. So before we go straight into behind the scenes, if this is your first time, you are so welcome and a big thank you to my returning subscribers. If you are new here and you like what you see, please make sure to hit the red button that says subscribe so you can be a part of my ROC gang, okay? Guys, I'm whispering because my baby's sleeping and I don't want to wake her up, but let's do this, okay? All right, let's go. All right, guys. So now we are going to prepare the perfect date for Evelyn and Derek. By the way, guys, um, Andre Vlogs, that is Derek and Andrea's YouTube channel, it's pretty new. They started January 20. Yeah, I'm having a feeling like they started this vlog from the whole Miss Uganda hype that was out there. And they already have 87,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Okay, let's continue. You're the only person that I'm allowing to have a date with Derek Evelyn. <laughs> so what makes a perfect date? First, the person. Come on, you can't be just there, just Evelyn. You have to allow me to. If you allow Evelyn, you have to allow this Nigerian girl. <laughs> when you're with ambiance, uh, good food, and flowers. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's the only thing we're missing flowers. So now we're gonna go to the nearest flower shop. Actually, Evelyn contacted Derek. I was with him that time, I remember. He was so surprised. They talked on the phone, video call. Okay. And then Derek offered Evelyn a chance to have a dinner with him. So I'm going right. to cook Derek's favorite so Evelyn can try it too. I'm going to cook bulalo, um, squid with olive oil, bangus, and squid. buko sarbe. Okay, so it was Andrea who picked the flowers. She's such a beautiful lady too, pretty smart. I think this is perfect. I think she would like this because I want something big. And the roses are a bit small. So this is from me and this is from Ned. Guys, it's exactly 4 o'clock. I have a good feeling about this day. Okay, I saw that you and Derek on the screen saver, like you're showing it on my face. I saw that. <laughs> okay. Derek is a type of person na very appreciative siya, very approachable siya pagdating sa mga fans. And when we saw her video, na-touch kaming dalawa and we wanted to do something for her. Especially kasi sobrang fan siya ni Derek. I want to be part of it. So ito na yung pinaka naisip kong way na magiging part ako ng data. And... If ever mag fail ako guys, I kiss better than I cook. Important talaga na may apron, kailangan naka-ice yung buhok. And I cannot live without my special sandok. This has been with me for, I don't know, a decade na yata. I like that apron, I kiss better than I cook. Ito ko lang na-ice buhok. Ito ko lang na-ice buhok. For our first dish, we're gonna make baby squid and olive oil. Wish me luck. I have Kodigo. I have everything here. The baby squid. 
Lagyan ko na extra just in case na gusto ni Derek kainin ito bukal. And kasi marami tayong squid. Shucks, sana kumakain siya dito. Evelyn, sana hindi ka allergic sa squid. I want kasi yung menu parang related kay Derek. Parang yung mga favorite ni Derek, matry eh. din niya. Painitin lang natin ng konti. Actually, oh, Julia, I can hear you. Consider your international fans. This fan, manalayin daw sa mga bansa. Kulat lang siya kasi syempre, Pilipino yung mga projects nila. Nagkaroon nga sila ng chance na mag-usap through video call. I was there, pero nagtatago ako. Ay after nun, nag-set na ng date. In-invite niya ka agad. Nung nalaman niya na hindi pa naman uuwi, in-invite niya ka agad. Then, nag-toast ako ng garlic. You can buy this, pero mas maganda yata pag ikaw na yung gumawa. Kayaan mo lang siya. Kasi ang sign naman na luto na siya is pag nag-evaporate na yung... She is doing so, pretty good with the channel. Oh, she's been doing it forever. Parang masarap. Naniniwala ako doon. Kapag ka-bad mood ka, kahit anong gawin mo, hindi masarap yung food. Gusto ko yung ganitong salt. Yung parang buo. Parang mas madali siyang tansyahin. And pepper! Tansya-tansya lang. Pepper. Tapos ang tip ko ha, kapag ka gumagamit kayo ng salt, kailangan may sugar sa tabi. Kapag sumobrang ala, lagyan mo lang ng sugar. Mababalance out. In case of emergency, add sugar. Let's wait for the juice to evaporate a bit. And it's done. Hindi natin na-overcook yung pusit. Yun yung important. It's not rubbery. One down. So, next stop, bangus. Bangus. Oh, that looks good. Cool. Guys, I really want to try um, Filipino dishes, like, I really want to try it. After watching Evelyn and Derek eat squid, I really want to try squid. And I'm really thinking I'm going to go to a Filipino restaurant just to eat squid. And I might just take you along. <laughs> Actually, kapag naluluto ako, kailangan laging ng pair, no? So, kanyari, adobo at mungo, french toast at bacon. Pero pag ganyan, since wet to, wet din yung bulalo, kailangan may dry. And just in case, allergic si Evelyn sa squid, we have the fish. Excuse any oil. Everybody is vegetable oil. Uh, medyo damihan natin para hindi dumikin. What I do is I marinate the bangus the night before. Para talagang mabuhay ni lahat. Fresh garlic, salt, pepper, supa. That's it. So, mas maganda talaga kung matagal. Kaya, if you can do it the night before, Do it. Oh, tip from Ate Marisa. Unahin ang harap ng bangus. Para daw hindi limit yung laman ate. Okay, I think we're ready. This is our giant bangus. See? Bangus. That's what fits to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> like, Andrea is a very sweet person. Can you see? Like she's having fun in the kitchen, and it's just amazing to see how they prepared for the, they prepared for the whole. You know, Evelyn's coming to Derek's house. Okay, let's continue. That fish is big. Ooh. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad it's not broken. Good job. The belly is still in that perfect brownish bounce. <laughs> Next victim. Nice. I don't know if I'm not cooking. Did she just say next victim? Especially cooking for other people. Cooking and baking. So for other people, iba yung fulfillment and happiness. I'm not that showy when I like someone. When I like someone, I like cooking for other people. And yes, I like cooking for other people. Yes, I seriously do. You know who's there? Like I, it gives me joy when you when you're eating my food. I'm really happy when people eat my food. I like it. Hi, Derek.
<laughs> Derek is blushing. This is really good. Grab it. Yeah. Like this is really good. Aww. Very cheap. So Miss Uganda's coming. Yeah. Oh no. I have to check my to check my phone. Why? I don't know if they know my address. Are you gonna give me your address? Can you Google that? Paragraph G's address? No. <laughs> oh my god. Uganda, you are so special. Like, they went all out for you. This is nice. Wow, that's a lot of food. Just in case you and to think that Uganda said the food was good, that's really good. While one was in the pressure cooker, I put the other one here. Tapos na isa yung isa hard pa rin. Not how. In Bulelo, this is the only thing I don't eat in Bulelo. Potatoes? <laughs> I feel like I have a carinderia. Bulelo, <laughs> is it like a potato <laughs> soup <laughs> or veggie soup? So this is my special sauce for the Bulelo. Of course, I'm still going to prepare Derek's favorite, the patis with sile. This is eggplant. I mashed it. I put muna din I put garlic and suka. All right, we're done. My Bulelo is done. Now we're Thank ready to set to up the table. I think she's coming. Comment soon, below. So we should hurry. <laughs> Andrea seemed to have fun just doing this. Like she had fun doing this. Oh, look at all those dishes! Wow. Oh, this is so beautiful. Evelyn's her name, we keep calling her Miss Uganda. She's uh, on her way now. It's amazing how Andrea's really helped out with this whole thing. She's brought flowers, rose petals all over my living room. We're excited to meet Miss Uganda. She's got about five minutes away. She says she wants to kidnap me. We have something <laughs> she can bring back home to Uganda and remember me by. Aww. Here comes the queen, Miss Uganda. Well, we already saw that in the last part. just so beautiful I, I think um, Derek has the parts two of what happened but um, yeah I think we saw what happened in in uh, Mr. Rafi's show but um, well we'll see we'll probably we're still going to check out Derek's part two to see how it happened from their own camera lens okay this was just so beautiful Andrea Andrea she's a sweet person like she was excited about doing this and she did it so beautifully well the food was so good because miss uganda said the food was good so i really like that the she put her all into this and also i was looking at the vlogs the other day and i saw this video where they said um uh, derek was inappropriately dressed for the dinner with miss uganda he wasn't properly dressed he should have you know, dress better, maybe wear a tuxedo and all of that. And I'm like, guys, come on, guys, come on. Can you all be grateful? It's not everyday, you know, everyday people hang out with celebrities in their house. And from that video, Derek said in a Twitter, um, in his tweet, that um, 
he didn't know Miss Uganda would be coming all dressed up, you know, with makeup and evening dress and all that. You know, that if he had known, he would have, you know, probably dressed in, you know, to match up. But he didn't know that. But to me, I'm like, come on, guys, can you all stop all these negative comments? Like, Derek is in his house. How many times do you dress up in your house? Like, look at me. I'm in my house. How many times do you, you know, wear tuxedo? He invited her over because he wanted to make it special. And, and he doesn't even invite people to his house every day. So... I felt he was relaxed because he was at home. But if they were to go to a restaurant, I'm sure he wouldn't wear that stuff and that shirt. He would probably wear, you know, a full outfit or a tuxedo as you guys wanted. But I totally didn't see anything wrong with what Derek was wearing. Like, you guys are being over dramatic. That's how I feel. Guys, let me know what you think about that. Did you think Derek was inappropriately dressed or you think he was just okay? Because don't forget, he said he didn't know Miss Uganda would come all dressed up. I, I think the most important thing here should be that Miss Uganda, Evelyn, was happy. And Derek and Andrea went all out to make her happy to meet her celebrity crush. And she got that. So that's the most important thing here, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, please subscribe and turn on my post notification bell so you don't miss another post, another upload from me. I will be bringing the part 6, make sure your bell is on, we're bringing the part 6 pretty soon, yeah, and um, we'll continue from there if you're not too tired of watching this story already, okay, because I'm not tired. <laughs> Until my next video, remember, impossible is nothing, see it, dream it, believe it. And do it. Bye, guys.